Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. Happy Sunday. I hope you guys are doing good today. So a lot has been going on the past 48 hours out here on these internet streets. So if you guys don't know, it looks like there's gonna be another Me Too situation brewing, okay? Because actor Christian Keys basically has come out and he says that a powerful man in Hollywood sexually assaulted him. Not to be honest with y'all, I didn't really know who he was like that. I guess he's performed in a lot of like Tyler Perry movies and things. Um, he's more of like a D-list actor, but I watched his entire live stream, the entire hour live stream. One of my friends sent it to me, so shout out to them. And um, I watched it to get an idea of him, what he was saying. I don't like watching, when it comes to like sexual assault situations, I don't wanna watch his clips randomly on Twitter. I wanna get everything in context. I wanna feel that person. I wanna see their eye contact, things like that. And he said a lot of powerful things in that hour long video. Um, I am gonna shorten it for y'all when I show y'all the clips, but you know, everybody's going with this narrative that it was Tyler Perry because he works on a lot of Tyler Perry, you know, productions. And I'm not saying that it couldn't be Tyler Perry. What I'm saying is that he didn't just name a man. If you really watch that stream, he also talked about how women in positions of power would come up and grab his junk. So he not only talked about the billionaire executive um, who put him in very compromising situations, but also females in Hollywood who do the same thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and play you guys both of these clips here. I want y'all to go check this out and we'll come back with the rest of my commentary. I have some because it, it bothers me in my spirit that you can, I can forgive people. That's one thing. But, yeah, P, we don't play ball. That's my brother in there. Um, and he knows the real deal. He knows the who. Um, I'm good. Somebody said, you don't look okay. I'm okay. I'm, I, I, have, I have peace. I'm literally strategically planning my next eight moves. I'm good. God got me because he was watching when I was offered these opportunities and I didn't say yes. I didn't sell my soul or my ass. Excuse my French, y'all. I know some of y'all, hopefully y'all have no kids around, but I didn't sell nothing for success. It's like, nah, that's not what I want. You know, I, I ain't into that. I ain't into dudes. It's, it's, I'm the, I got an only beard in the bed policy. Mine is the only beard in the bed. Yeah, we not, we ain't doing none of that. I don't, I don't get out like that. And these people kept on for years. Sexual harassment is a crime. Attempted sexual assault is a felony. And where I'm at now is that in the middle of the night, I think about if I'm brave enough to name the person, I'll take a polygraph live. I'll take five polygraphs live and I'll pass all of them because it's the truth. This person is a predator and he's one of several. Um, and it's a shame, man, but it's, I think it's time. I want to, and I know, P, I know you're on here. I want to say everything now. And I have proof. It's not like I'm just making false accusations. I intentionally let the statute of limitations expire. It's not about money, but I'm going to take... I'm going to have to take the receipts, the recordings down to the police department and let them hear this individual. I wasn't working for him in 
the month and the year that he showed up to my apartment and offered me a hundred grand to take my clothes off. He said, I don't even need to touch you. I just want to see you naked. I declined. Because again, scenic group, I got my integrity with me. I'll, I'll take the long way around. But being that I wasn't working with him and we were in my apartment, he had visited my apartment to offer me a job of this fall because the lead of this particular project was going to do something else, so he needed another lead. I recorded it because I didn't trust him and I had told him over and over and he still always tried shit, just tried shit. So if people don't believe me, they can hear him in his voice. I have always kept something on me, always, even if my phone is off. Something else is if I'm around somebody that has tried to sexually harass me, pressure me, intimidate me into some nonsense, I've always kept something on me so I could protect myself because if they're that powerful and they feel that entitled, then they, they can also try to get in the way of your work. I was on a show and if I had done what this actress did, just switching lanes, if I had done what she did, I'd never work again and I'd be in jail. She used to come up and pat me on the jump, like pat my penis, like, ooh, okay, I see that print. And I checked her, I grabbed her hand right away, checked her, like, what, what the fuck are you doing? I didn't okay, I'll do that shit, I'm going to jail. What are you doing? She did it again. Grabbed her hand, I was like, stop, that shit ain't funny. We're preparing for a scene, she walks past, cups my equipment, and it's like, Oh, you got some girth. When I tell you, had one, had that been a dude that have punched, her, punched them in a motherfucking mouth. If I behaved like this woman, this particular actress had done. In that moment, I'd be in jail. I'd be canceled. And I would never fucking work again. You don't get to walk past somebody and be like, oh, that's nice. And pat them on their fucking private. What I get to call my job is a blessing and I love it. And I'm. All right. So you guys just watch those clips. And there were a lot of people in his comment section when he was live. I'm, um, you know, just giving him words of encouragement. Other people ran to Twitter and they are dragging Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry has been trending for the past 48 hours of people accusing him of abusing Christian Keys. But yet people have no proof because Christian said he's not ready to speak yet. One person who did speak in his comment section was actor Dondre Whitfield. So if you guys don't know, this is what Dondre wrote. He says, y'all don't want to have this conversation. If we told y'all about your heroes and sheroes, it would break y'all like they try to break us. But now let's see if our people have the same energy when men are targets of sexual harassment, sexual intimidation and assault. Let's see if we are more interested in protecting the people or celebrating the powerful. And why is it always the ones who talk about how God informs their decisions in life? Shaking my head. At Christian Keys, you are my brother and I support you and the truth. Tammy Ronan wrote this. She says, Christian, I've been around you several times and you are such a light who walks with integrity and peace. I'm sorry you've experienced this, but I commend your bravery in this instance. Your bravery is selfless and will protect so many who go through this after you. You are the person with strength and protection from God to handle this journey. That's why you stated it's a difficult decision. It's been heavy on you, but you feel overwhelmingly compelled to speak on it. That's God saying it's time. Step out for he will be with you. Just know that when there's a Goliath in front of you, there's a David inside of you. My prayer is with you as you heal from this trauma. Then Claudia Jordan spoke in his comments. Claudia said you shared a piece with 
you shared a piece of this with me when we first met about 15 years ago and said one day you would come forward and you did. And Christian Keys, I am so proud of you. Do not beat yourself up for waiting. It is hard, especially as a man. I know it's scary, it's embarrassing and uncharted territory, but you did it. I will stand with you on this as your friend because this is the same vibe and tone and story you shared in 2008, I believe. Congratulations to you for not going along to get along and being able to look at yourself in the mirror as you shave in the morning. Other men and women will be saved and feel heard because of your bravery. Love your friend. So as you see, he's gotten a lot of overwhelming support, um, you know, on social media, especially from celebrities and things like that. Now, what I also find interesting is that I think he was trying to spill the tea a few years ago because I remember him going viral. But like I said, I don't really watch too much of anything he's in. No shade. But I remember he went viral a few years ago because he was demanding that he wanted gay fans to leave him alone. He was feeling extremely disrespected that a lot of gay men were like sliding in his DMs and everything else. And a lot of the gay publications picked this up and he went viral for this. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys this video of him going off about gay men, you know, constantly hitting on him when he's a straight man. What else do I want to talk about? Uh, this might get me in trouble. What else needs to be addressed? Respecting people's truths. I got nothing but love for all our brothers and sisters in the gay community, period. It ain't my business. That's between you, who you love, and God. With that being said, and respecting each other's truth, if I respect yours, respect mine. Gentlemen, let's not be in the comment section with the eggplant emojis and, and you know, the, 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 the sexual comments. I'm not a fan of that. I'm, I appreciate you support my work, but let's, let's not be in the DM. Talking about, hey, sexy, what's up? What's good? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So, again, if I respect your truth, respect mine. Respect people's truths. We don't need to be harassing nobody and, and doing all of that, man. It's, it's too much. It's too aggressive. I say let's, let's not do that and let's just respect who people are genuinely. I think that's a fair request. All right, so you guys just heard what he had to say, and that was in 2019. So I remember him going viral for that, and a lot of the gay community, they felt the way. So these are just some of the comments. Um, people were saying, word of advice for straight people when they want to not come off as homophobic, saying a gay person's sexuality is between them and God, and that it's none of your business it actually does the opposite. Somebody else says, if you don't want gay fans hitting you up on social media, then why are you playing a gay role on a hit TV series like DC Legends of Tomorrow? I'm asking for Christian Keys. Why are you pressed? You not even that cute. Negro, please. Somebody else says, Christian Keys can go fuck himself making a PSA for gays like they're the only ones who do that. Make the message for everybody. You're playing a gay character. Do not use our identity to get famous, then push us away in the same break, you worthless piece of shit. So I don't know if him coming out back then was low-key because of what he's going through with that person pressuring him. Maybe that was a shot at that person, but he kind of said it to the public. But I think he's been dropping hints for a while. Also, Jason Lee also commented. Jason says, I know who Christian Keys is talking about. And baby, this is going to rock the industry. Networks, icons, black Hollywood. It's a wrap if he speaks out. And he should. At Christian Keys has never been messy. So don't question his motives. So that's what Jason Lee had to say about the situation. Now, this is my thing. Do I believe Christian? 100% I do. Um, I have been talking about the industry, things that go on behind the scenes for years. Um, when everything was going down six years ago in Hollywood, when the swamp was being drained, I was covering that. I did plenty of stories. You guys can go back and watch them. Um, I covered when Seal went off on Oprah, you know, concerning her friendship with Harvey Weinstein. I talked about Russell Simmons getting hit with new abuse allegations. Um, and then basically, um, Terry Crews blasting Russell Simmons and saying that no one gets a pass. I also talked about the Terry Crews situation, Harvey Weinstein, Asia Argento, Rose McGowan, and everything that was going on around them. Now, what I find very interesting about all of this, oh, yeah, and then we also spoke on the um, Charlie Sheen situation with Corey Hames, Hames and Corey Feldman and him, you know, finally speaking up on his abusers. So I've been covering this type of stuff on this channel for years. And what I find very interesting, it seems like it really depends on the victim on who people choose to get around. Because let's keep it real. Terry Crews crawled 
so Christian Keys could run. Terry Crews basically said the same thing years ago concerning him being harassed by a huge Hollywood executive. And he made it clear back then that sexual harassment, sexual assault was not okay. And I didn't see a lot of people rallying behind him. I remember D.L. Hughley clowning him. You know, 50 Cent clowning him. People saying he's too big to allow himself to be sexually harassed. He should have used his big muscles. He should have fought back. He's gay. He liked it. There was so much slack that Terry Crews got for, you know, saying that men are going through this too. That it's really sad now that not everybody's acting brand new. Like this wasn't six years ago that we were talking about this on this channel. Michael Strahan and the Terry Crews interview. Sexual assault is a crime. It is a crime. You cannot violate a person's personal boundaries. Terry Crews, the former NFL linebacker turned actor, adding his voice to the tidal wave of people sharing their claims of sexual assault in Hollywood. And people will say, wow, man, you should just laugh it off. You should just forget it. You know, no, I'm not going to forget it. Cruz is known for his comedic macho roles on the hit TV show Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I just happen to be a great person who's naturally beloved by all. Or the shirtless, boisterous Old Spice pitchman. You smell so manly, scientists want to study your manliness. But he says his tough guy persona didn't prevent him from becoming the victim of a powerful man. I was sexually assaulted by Adam Bennett, who was the head of the motion picture department at William Morris Endeavor. In February of 2016, Cruz says he and the Hollywood super agent Adam Bennett were at the same party. Bennett has represented some of Hollywood's biggest names, Liam Hemsworth, Emma Stone, Sylvester Stallone, Eddie Murphy, and Adam Sandler. You're talking about a very, very powerful man who has access to studio heads, what they do affects every part of the business from producers, writers, mm -hmm. actors, uh, they own finance companies, the whole thing. And well. did you know him before the party? And I did not know him. I heard of him. We had never ever even had a conversation. Okay. So I just heard, uh, and actually I was actually looking forward to meeting him. But instead of a professional meet and greet, Cruz claims Bennett leered at him from across the room. And he looked me in my eyes and he was sticking his tongue out overtly sexually to me. I mean, it was no mistake that this was a, a, a sexual type tongue move. And I'm going, and I'm thinking it's a joke. I'm thinking, is this how this guy breaks the ice? I don't understand what this is. Confused, Cruz said he reached out to shake his hand. I reached my hand out and he, he takes his right hand and under mine and immediately squeezes, grabs my genitals and just, and I'm jumping back like, hey, hey, mm -hmm. whoa. And he go and he still, and he jumps back and he still does this tongue stuff and he's making weird noises and then he comes back again and grabs me again. And I, I slap his hand away, push him back more forcefully. And I'm like, what are you doing? According to Cruz, the alleged groping happened in front of his wife, Rebecca King Cruz. She confirmed her husband's account to ABC News. What so she's happening? witnessing the she's entire witnessing thing. She's witnessing the whole thing. And we're just, not, I, I cannot, I can't even begin to describe to you how bizarre this is. It's, again, it's so bizarre. I wake up every morning like, is this, is this a bad dream? Mm -hmm. Does this really happen? Because a lot of people will look and they'll go, here he is. Former NFL linebacker, 6'3", 240 pounds, just muscles everywhere. How could he be assaulted? That plays into the total stereotype of black men that we have to be violent. Cruz said his wife's calming influence prevented the incident from escalating. I felt nothing but rage, rage, Mike. But my wife prepared me. She said, Terry, you cannot handle these kind of things with violence. You can't hit back because if you hit per people and if you do this stuff, you're going to be under the jail. I, I think it's hard for me to <laughs> think that a dude with all those muscles can't tell an agent to not touch his ass. I just do. I, I don't. I don't understand. I think that now everybody's so into this notion that me. Too, it happened to me too. Hey, motherfucker, God gave you muscles so you can say no and mean it. A lot of men face abuse in the industry, not just from gay men, but even women. Grown women who are sleeping with these little teenage boys, uh, Asia Argento, you over here starting Me Too movements and Time's Up movements. Meanwhile, you fucking your 17-year-old co-star. 
man or a woman, y'all. I'm sorry. I, I, I can't tell. I see a, a man with tits, but then people say it's not. I, I don't know. Basically, Rain Dove and Rose McGowan are a couple, okay? So she was sending all this shit to Rain Dove. Rain Dove showed it to Rose McGowan. At this point in time, you three hoes are basically spearheading the Me Too movement. Y'all done took it and hijacked it. So, of course, she had no, you know, she, she couldn't keep that secret because then she'd be complicit with the damn fuckery. So, in this situation, Rose McGowan did the right thing by taking that shit to the media and to the police and saying that she wants no parts of this. Now, you're sitting here trying to sue her for coercion and, you know, for blasting you and for, you know, slander. But girl, are you crazy? The little boy came out and said that you fucked him. You got pictures of you and this little boy together in bed. He's topless. At the time, he was a young kid. He was 17 years old. There's receipts of you having Anthony Bourdain, before he passed, pay your debt to him. You agreed to pay that boy $300,000 to keep him silent. And you shamed Anthony Bourdain into helping you with the fuck shit. So yeah, like I said, it's no fun when the rabbit has the gun. Now you want to sue, now you're in your feelings. Meanwhile, you was fucking your 17-year-old co-star and your ass ain't in jail. Nothing happened to you, ma'am. And we blasted her six years ago. So this whole industry is trash. And I think this whole industry is about to implode on itself. And people are now jumping ship. And, you know, he said he's not trying to sue. The statute of limitations has ran out. You know, he just wants to clear his mind of, you know, the people who were harassing him. You know, not just the men, but also the women and things like that. And that's fine. And I think he has every right to tell his story. But I just also think that it's sad. It takes the perfect victim for people to, like, have all this sympathy. And maybe it's because Christian Keys is fine. You know, he's very handsome. You know, he's a, he doesn't like being called a pretty boy. But he's definitely a pretty boy. You know, like the pretty boy stat. You know what I mean? And I think because of that, people have more sympathy for him, you know, because he's very handsome, you know, and he's more lean. Whereas with Terry Crews wasn't the right victim. He's big, he's buff, he's black. You know what I'm saying? He should have been able to, you know, fight off this white man. So it's, it's just kind of sad that Terry didn't get the same support and he deserved the same support as any of the women and the same support that Christian Keys is now having. Now, a lot of people have been asking me, do I think it's Tyler Perry? While it sounds good, I don't really believe it's Tyler Perry because Christian Keys is working on Tyler Perry projects as we speak. We've narrowed it down, me and my friend, we've narrowed it down to two people. I don't believe in putting things out there without proof. And I also feel like it is Christian Keys' story to tell. But I will say this, I believe one of the offenders, his name starts with the R, and the other possible alleged offender, his name starts with the F. And I will leave it at that. One that I think that comes to mind, the name starts with the R, the other starts with the F. And I will leave it at that. Again, it's his story to tell. I could be wrong, because again, I wasn't there. But th this is where my mind goes with some of the things that he said, with what I was able to piece together. Because he wasn't as discreet as he thought he was being. So with what I was able to piece together, that is where my mind goes. So when he comes out and he says that the person who assaulted him, his name started with an R or an F, just remember, you heard it here first. I'm just kidding. Um, we'll just see what happens, you know what I'm saying? But in the meantime, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation with Christian Keys coming out and telling his story of abuse in the industry. And do you feel like this is going to be another possible Cassie situation where more people and more men will feel more comfortable to come out and share their story? There's definitely something dark and sinister going on in this industry. And unfortunately, you know, it's such a gatekeeper industry. That's why this abuse has been allowed to go on for so long. But like I told you guys, we are in the age of Aquarius and things are being exposed. You know what I'm saying? People are being exposed. People are no longer taking abuse. People are no longer sitting down and letting people just walk all over them. People are starting to find their voices and I'm definitely here for it. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you still subscribe to the channel. Feel free to share the video and I will talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so tell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.